Hello friends, welcome to this new video on MongoDB indexes video tutorial series. In this video, we are going to continue from our previous discussion in previous videos where we have discussed MongoDB indexes, what are indexes, type of indexes and index properties. In this video, we are going to talk about index operations and index strategies which can be used to make maximum use of MongoDB indexes, right? So let us continue with our discussion on index operations as well as how to strategize best use of indexes, how to make best use of indexes, how to increase performance using indexes. Let us continue. So what kind of operations are there? What do I mean by operations, right? So operations mean that creating an index that we have already seen but beyond that removing an index listing down all the indexes right dropping a specific index all these come under operations part so first of all let us see how to fetch these indexes all the indexes are created on a collection these can be fetched using collection name dot get all indexes get indexes right then db dot collection name dot drop indexes it will remove all the indexes except one index which is a default index underscore id field index and then removing a specific index right collection name dot drop index right then inside that field name and descending or ascending order right this is how we can perform different operations on mongodb indexes let us see this in action let us see how many indexes are there on our students collection using get indexes command right so it has listed down so many indexes correct now let us try to remove one of these we will not remove all of these First, we will remove one of these and then we will remove other indexes, right? First, let us see how can I remove this index student id equal to 1 and that says number of indexes was 4, okay, 1, which means that index has been dropped. Now, let us see how many indexes we have left with. Now we can see that we don't have an index on student ID field alone, right? Now let us try to get rid of all the indexes on this collection by mentioning drop indexes. No need to pass any argument here. Number of indexes, three non-ID indexes dropped for collection. As I mentioned that, it will keep only a default index after this particular command right that is only underscore id index let us see get indexes it has only underscore id field index correct now let us proceed with the next part of this video which is creating different strategies understanding different strategies to get maximum benefit from indexes right let us see that first and foremost technique is create indexes to support application queries that is the biggest advantage or that is the biggest consideration which you have to consider while deciding upon the fields which can be used to create indexes on for example we are querying mongodb collection on certain fields right and indexes don't include those fields right in some partial way or fully for all, all the fields then we are not making any use if our indexes are not able to support those queries right so one thing which can be used to evaluate this that whether our queries are using indexes or not right in case indexes have been created on those fields 
the best way to use that is use explain right explain function to find out whether that particular query is using indexes or not how many documents are getting returned as a result of that index is that index useful or not right all those things can be found out by using explain function right that i'm going to show you in the hands on section of this video but till that please bear with me and just think that your indexes should support application queries right now moving on the second part is that use indexes to sort query results right so first is that it should support application queries in case our query includes sorting operation also right then we should use indexes to sort those query results also now sort must use index keys or index prefix now what does this index prefix mean right you might be wondering you might have heard of indexes but what is index prefix right that is let us take an example that we have created an index on four fields of a collection which is a b c and d these are four fields right of a collection there might be other fields also in that collection but here we have created one index on these four fields one index only so now what could be the possible index prefixes so if my query includes any of this in where condition right or in sort operation then i can say that my query is using index or index prefix right from a master index so in this case if my query has this a colon 1 or a colon 1 comma b colon 1 or a colon b colon c colon right so or all of these four fields then i can say that this is using query prefix or this is using index prefix right for example db dot students dot find a one where a is equal to one dot sort b because these are the in subsequent order right from this index that is how I can make index work for sorting also. Moving on, what is the third strategy? Right, you also have to consider your RAM size, the memory which you have. Right, if total index size of a collection goes beyond your ram right that is going to badly impact your index performance so what does that mean you have to ensure that you have sufficient amount of ram which is greater than right than the total index size or you have to cut down on the indexes right the fourth strategy is create queries that ensure selectivity now what does this selectivity mean right please make a note here if overall selectivity is low and if mongodb must read a number of documents to return results then some queries may perform faster without indexes now what does this mean this is very very important part right so please understand despite having indexes if our query is still performing scan or our expected result from index is that it should return us two indexes but still rather than scanning whole collection it is returning or it is scanning a significant amount of documents to return just two three or some number of documents then we can say that our selectivity of that index is low then it might be the case that our query can perform faster without having that index right so i have set a quiz for you predict the selectivity is it low or high based upon whatever you have observed from this video right 
नंबर वन नंबर ऑफ डॉक्यूमेंट स्कैंड इक्वल टू टेन नंबर ऑफ डॉक्यूमेंट्स रिटर्न फाइव वर्सेस नंबर ऑफ डॉक्यूमेंट स्कैंड एज वेल एज नंबर ऑफ डॉक्यूमेंट्स रिटर्न इक्वल टू टेन दैट इज टेन इज अ नंबर ऑफ डॉक्यूमेंट स्कैंड एंड टेन इज अ नंबर ऑफ डॉक्यूमेंट्स रिटर्न राइट एज अ रिजल्ट ऑफ क्वेरी ऑन एन इंडेक्स राइट यू हैव टू टेल मी द एग्जैक्ट आंसर ऑफ दिस वेदर selectivity is low or high in both the cases or which one is low or which one is high please post your comments in the comment section of this video i would be more than glad to see your answers there and we can discuss that part further also right so i hope you have been liking this video so far let us proceed further let me show you an example so here we are going to take a collection right order collection where we are going to store many documents with quantity item inside that right please note that quantity is 1 1 2 2 3 3 <coughs> there are different item names also let us assume that we have created an index on quantity field please find out how many documents are scanned and returned with the following queries quantity is 2 and item is jk quantity is greater than 1 and item is jk can you find out in this both the queries given the scenario that index is created on only quantity field right how many indexes are scanned and how many indexes are returned in both these now let me show you another scenario here where we have quantity 1 2 3 4 5 6 right and we have item names again the index is on same and again queries are also going to be same right now again we will have to find out in which of these two scenarios indexes are going to help us which of these are going to result in high selectivity or low selectivity right so if you are aware of this right then you will get most out of indexes right the strategies you will be able to strategize that how you should plan your strategy how, how you should plan or create indexes right that will help you the next and final strategy as far as this video is concerned right index intersection now what does that intersection mean for example you have two indexes right separate indexes one is on quantity field and another is on item field and you need not to create a compound index always right so the query like this where you are searching on index and quantity right separately can help you to make use of these both the indexes right so first of all it will find out all these items using this index and then it will try to use this index to find out the quantities greater than 15 so this is how we can use index intersection as well another example you can say that quantity is 1 and another compound index is on status 1 order date descending order right so this kind of query can help us to make use of index intersection so the point here is by just knowing the indexes right that yes i should use indexes it does not mean that we can make maximum use of indexes in order to gain performance that is not the case always so if i go back and show you all the five strategies once again so i think you should appreciate that by now you know different strategies to get maximum performance benefits of indexes let me show you the strategies once again from 1 to 5 first is indexes to support application queries make use of explain always use indexes to sort query results ensure indexes fit in ram ensure 
the selectivities right create queries that ensure selectivity right indexes should be created in such a way that leads to high selectivity and finally we discussed about two different scenarios right and then index intersection right so by making use of all these strategies you can get maximum benefits i have small hands on section also to show you this in action